All right, Periscope, this is Michael Collier. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-C-O-L-Y-A-R. He is a comedian. Um, he, uh, man, I don't even know what to say about him. But I want to tell y'all, he's on Periscope. And he did a scope today that was off the chain. Let me give you a little taste of his comedy. Check it out. <laughs> Michael Irvin talking about only white folks take notes. I wrote notes the whole damn time. And I'm tired of all night I've been hearing white, black, white, black. I don't believe in racism. I believe in race pride. I'm not mad at white folks about what their ancestors did to my ancestors and some of you motherfuckers still trying to do. I just know <laughs> that we all got to live together. We got to work together. That's why I, you, you ever watch my act? You'll see my, I don't even do no motherfucking racist jokes. So I'm just do one. Okay. <laughs> white man, a black man, an Asian, and a Hispanic. They're all on top of this tall mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kilio, Mount whatever. The Hispanics said, this is for my people, jumped off the mountain. The Asians said, this is for my people, jumped off the mountain. Black men said, this is for my people, grab a white dude, threw that motherfucker up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. But white folks, when you tell it, just flip it. Just flip it. You, anybody can tell it. Just flip it. That was my first time watching that, and that is Michael Collier at his best. Well, I want you to know, Michael is on. Uh, you know, they told okay, me the let me give you another one. Complicated. I All right, that last Here's another one. one. I'm gonna hit you with the elephant joke series. <laughs> you know, we heard elephant jokes all our lives. As children, we heard elephant jokes. They weren't that funny, but they was cute. How come elephants don't ride tricycles? Because the finger's too big for the bell. Ding, ding. Not funny, but damn cute. And then you had the two-part elephant joke. Part one. What did Tarzan say when he saw the elephants coming up the road? No, no, no. No, he said, look, there, there's some elephants coming, coming up the road. Damn. Now that's okay. Come on, that's all right. Give him a break. Give, give him a break. We're going to do this one more time. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. You'll try it one more time. Use that brain. Squeeze that noodle. Cogitate. <laughs> Part two. You're going to try this time, right? You try it. Don't like don't and him. invite your followers. Two, I have two, two, a two, big announcement what about Michael Collier. Call you saw Elvis come though. up the road with sunglasses. Swipe right. Like, invite on, come on, come on, your followers. Swipe right. Put it on Twitter. Android <laughs> users, get involved. Swipe that's right. That's all right. He ain't say shit. He couldn't recognize it. And then... And then you moved on to a more risque elephant joke. How do you make an elephant come? <laughs> and the all-time elephant favorite, the Mercedes-Benz elephant joke. How many people in the room own a Mercedes-Benz? Okay, I'm sorry. Lease. Lisa Mercedes. <laughs> okay, how many people wish like hell they had a Mercedes? Give me my head, my man right there with the head. What's your name, bro? What's your name? What's your name, bro? What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Clement, can you take that spot, spot off him? Because that glare coming off his head fucking me up. But... <laughs> Claremont? They named you up the street. Okay, Claremont. Um, we're dedicating this last joke to you, my friend, because you'd like to have your very own Mercedes Benz, ladies and gentlemen. We're dedicating this joke to my friend Claremont. <laughs> because he'd like to have his very own Mercedes Benz. Ladies and gentlemen, who are we dedicating the last joke to? Claremont. Come on, say it like you mean it. Claremont. Claremont, this bud's on you. Now, don't tell this at home. True story. An elephant and a mouse. Pretty good friends. Pretty good friends indeed. Were walking through the jungles of Africa. <laughs> Mind their own business. Walking down the street. Wait, I'm sorry, bro. The path. <laughs> Elephant trip falls into a huge hole. So I scream, save me. Save me. Mouse says, what the fuck do you expect? He said, wait, wait. I got an idea. Mouse runs home, goes into his garage, gets out his Mercedes Benz. True story. <laughs> True story. Drive down to the Ace Hardware, buys some rope. Puts the rope in the back of his 
Mercedes Benz drives back out to the hole and shouts down to the elephant. He said, listen, I'm going to tie one end of this rope to the back of my Mercedes Benz. You tie the other end to your snoot. See that way? When we pull out, you'll be saved. It worked. It worked. Pretty good friends. Pretty good friends indeed. Claremont, are you still following this story? <laughs> okay, good. Couple of days later, Elephant and the Mouse walk through the jungles of Africa again. Mind their own business. Walking down the path. The path. <laughs> this time the mouse trips, falls on the whole side, and save me. Save me! So of course the elephant whips out his dick. Uh huh. Drops it in a hole. Uh huh. Tells the mouse, you run up my dick. You'll be saved. It worked. It worked in Claremont. Claremont! Do you know the moral of this story? <laughs> hey, if you got a big dick, you don't need a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Can you believe Michael Carter, my nigga, is on Periscope? Go follow him. Let me... Jesus. Let me tell you, I've known this guy since, oh Jesus. Give it up for my friend, baby. Funny <laughs> man, Michael Collier. Stop it, I can't take it, Michael. Leave me alone. He got one more joke I want to turn you on to. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, this one. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. You know, they told me the jokes was too This is the one. I went in the back, they said that last one. <laughs> it was too complex. So now. All right, this one we got to watch. And Michael Carr is up to big things, and he's on Periscope, but this is the last joke I want to show I like you. to call him the king of Venice Beach. Yeah. He used to perform right here in this spot. Oh, that could be him. Yep. This is what he... He did. won $100,000 on Star Search and donated half of it to the homeless. He starred in Hot Shots Part 2. You saw House Party 3. He played Showbo. Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together for Mr. Michael Collier. <laughs> Much too kind. <laughs> but I'm real happy to be back here to do this show. Now, today they did something really special. They let me put my feet in cement over there. You know, because they, they, they got 10 million bucks, they're getting ready to redo the whole face of Venice. And they're going to sit my feet print and my money grabber. And these things are going to be in cement, and you'll see it from now on. So it's sort of like immortalized type of thing. Oh, cool. This is where a titty hat with a hat with titties on. I think that you should love who you are and know about who you are and study who you are and be happy about being who you are. I don't have to be mad at you because you ain't me. I ain't got no problem with you because what your ancestors did to my ancestors. I do not think like that. I do have one question, however, just for the Mexicans in the audience. And, you know, I'm not trying to put nobody on the spot, nothing like this. Where y'all get all them oranges from? That, that's the thing I'm trying to do. If I could just... Now, wait, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. But you know damn well you so can't I get off the freeway. Your well, I'm buying a big old bag of oranges. But I'm about you know Michael this. Collier. And, and now I am equal you opportunity. More people in, this room. in fact, I'm going to tell you something. This is going to make some of you real excited. I just this found is this out. This a pussy joke. Oh, this is the joke I want. Wait a minute, man. Oh, this is exciting. At three, I'm going to write here. See those three brothers hold right on, there? Hold on, hold on. Why did they do that when I asked for something else? Lumber clot. Read the pussy joke. Super polygrip seals up more food particles right, so on. your food won't get stuck. You know when you just and see you something and you say, I want to hear that eat one. Eat loud, live loud. Super polygrip. Here we go. We look that up. Oh, the pussy joke. We want to hear that. No profanity. Now, originally, originally, this was a pussy joke. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But see, I don't do pussy jokes. I think the word pussy offends women on every level of our society. Hell, you say pussy three times in a row. Pussy, pussy, pussy. That shit ain't funny no more. <laughs> now, coochie. Coochie funny in the motherfucker. Yeah, because see, with coochie... With Coochie, you get to say the same damn thing. 
without being all nasty. That's the coochie joke. Now, people, this is an old joke. You know I do old jokes because I don't think an old joke should die just because the motherfucker that wrote it did. So, this joke is old. Yeah, when motherfucker old, he done died. He can't use the joke. Keep the motherfucking joke alive. This one's a little different. This joke is 57 years old. The man that wrote this joke ain't dead. But he's in a motherfucking coma. <laughs> you can use it till he wake up. Now remember, remember, this is the dirtiest joke I ever told. What's up, bruh? The sunglasses. How you doing, bruh? You all right? You okay? Yeah, I'm glad y'all made it, man. Shit. Y'all passed up a drive-by to be at this motherfucker in here. Okay. Oh, my ass. Y'all saw Manny walk out here with me. He big as that motherfucker. We'll do some shit if it's going to be a problem, you know. I changed the show from comedy so goddamn fast to tragedy. I'm sorry. What's your name, bro? What's your name? Good sense of humor, right? Okay. Because I can take you. I mean, to lunch. They got a buffet out front. That's a motherfucker. You cool, baby. This is my All right, now remember, this is the comedian. dirtiest joke. They don't go no lower than this. You make it through this. Pardon me? He's on Paris, Don't be shouting Follow shit. Follow him, Michael Collier. Oh, I'm sorry. I see who you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, he's been jailed. Up. What's up, bro? What's up, baby? No, no, really. No, we, he was in my jail cell one night. He come over. He said, Michael, let me be frank with you. And I said, fuck that. You was frank last night. I'm being frank tonight. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. No, you got to mix it up. Okay, wait. Clean this joke. <laughs> no profanity. 57 years old. Help yourself. This man just got a brand new job dressing up dead bodies at the funeral home, getting them ready for burial. One day, funeral director come in. Bobby, how's everything going up? Oh, shit, everything's all right. Ooh, except for that one lady way in the back. Yep, she got a big old shrimp stuck in, in a coochie. Yes, excuse me. He said, shrimp. Big old shrimp stuff. Michael Collier. Right in the old on Periscope. He said, shh. Follow him. I got to go check this out. You know, so he walked up. He looked. He said, you fool. That, that ain't no shrimp. That's a clitoris. The <laughs> guy said, clitoris? Well, damn, the show tastes like shrimp. I, I didn't. <laughs> All right, so look, Michael Collier is a comedian, activist, my friend. I've known him since I was about 33 years old, and I'm 61. That means he's only about 22. Michael Collier used to wear a cap with titties on it. That shit used to be hilarious. I mean, all in the hood. Here's this guy with a hat with two titties with erect nipples, white titties, too. Anyway, I love him. He was on Periscope today, and he did a talk that sealed it. Now, look, you got to follow him. He's a big Love Tribe member. He's been doing this a long time. I can't wait for you to hear his replay. Make sure you go to it. He did it about two hours ago. Watch it once, twice. Talk about our president using the N-word. What word is that? Nigga! We're going to talk about that. And... He's also starting a nonprofit, going around the country, stopping people from killing people. Do you know, I wrote it down, in Chicago, over a thousand people shot and hurt, 300 people murdered, 200 shot by the police students, 200 students shot by the police, and he is doing something about it. He's getting a group of people, famous comedians, musicians. They're going on tour. They're going to be doing all this thing. And he's on Periscope. Support him. Michael Collier. I'm going to write his name down. Oh, I don't have to. It's right here. Boom. At Michael Collier on Periscope. Follow him. Blow up. Like, whoa, Love Tribe. Because he is giving it up. I'm so proud of him. I can't edify him enough. He's from Chicago originally. He lives in Los Angeles. Big up yourself, Michael Collier. And burn up Babylon. <laughs>